Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to send an email using SharePoint 2013 Designer Workflow in Office 365. So one of the simple example is, there is, will be a client list that will maintain all the client data. Whenever there is a new client has been added to that list, the client manager will be notified saying that a new client has been added. Okay. So let's open SharePoint Designer 2013. This is our SharePoint Designer and we have a site called Workflows. So from the left navigation, click on Workflows to see all the list of workflows. And here we will be creating a list workflow. So just choose a list workflow and select clients. Okay, and enter the name as send an email. Okay, description as send an email when new client you get added. Okay, and the platform type would be SharePoint 2013 workflow. Click OK. So this will create the workflow here. And from here, what we can do is just select this from the actions, click on add a comment just say send an email add a comment action will help us especially in big workflows to see what is the flow and what is each section is doing so it doesn't do anything just specifies whoever is opens the workflow that gives clear idea okay and now select next option as send an email or you could just type it here send an email see you could see here when you type send you have one item available so just press enter now it has added the email send an email action click on these users to format the email functionality for this so here in the two tab select one of the client manager in this case i'm just selecting myself okay click ok now you could build the subject for this particular email so just go to the string builder new client so if i want the client name from the list just click on add or lookup change lookup and from here from the current item just keep that as it is for the data source and the field would be the title this is the column we will be using just click ok new client let's say client name has been added okay this is the subject click ok now we could format the body also hi devendra okay a new client and you could add the client name here as well the data source would be current item and field from the source would be title okay and click ok new client client name has been added to the client list thank you okay this is a simple a uh, body format which you could change which you could add a few more uh, details if you want okay click ok to complete this so now we have completed our send email action now uh, we need to log these details using log workflow list log to history action so that we could see those details in the workflow history so just select here and choose log to history list and say email sent successfully okay so this is the option now finally what we have to do is we have to end the workflow from transition stage i click here click on go to stage from the go to stage just click on end of the workflow now we have a comment this will send a work an email and the email action is completed then we are logging the details to workflow history list and finally we are just ending the workflow i change the stage to send an email okay this will appear in the uh, workflow status okay 
so just check if there are any errors now oh, there are no errors just publish this workflow or just save it for now so what we have to do is we have to change the workflow options by default the workflow will be always started manually so we'll just make sure that the workflow will start automatically when the client has been added to the client list so let's go back to this and an email from here change the start options to start workflow automatically when the item is created just publish the workflow now you could see here automatically update the workflow status to current stage name that's what we did as send an email so that will show in the workflow status okay let's wait for publishing the workflow it takes one or two minutes hardly yeah it has been published now so let's go back to our site this is our site where we have a clients list and to just verify the workflow you could go to list workflow settings and you could see that send an email workflow is available here okay so let's go ahead and add a new client i'm just naming it as for example client one and the country is india just click on save to add new client to the list you could see the send an email is showing the status because it's a stage now it's already completed here and you could see that in the workflow status email has been sent successfully okay now what we have to do is all these functionalities we are doing using an admin user now we need to check whether devendra i mean myself has been received an email or not okay so let's sign out from here and log in using my username uh, i have logged in with my username i'll go to outlook to check whether i have received the email with the details which we have formatted so you could see here i have a new email so it says hi devendra new client client one has been added to the client list thank you so i i hope this gave a starting point where you could send an email at various conditions so it's very common functionality that will be used so i hope this is helpful for you thank you for watching this session and you can watch more sessions at sharepointjourney.com